Okay, so this is going to be um, another volume of revolution using disks and washers. And in this one, again, I just want to slightly tweak uh, my first two examples. So again, we're doing the uh, region bounded by x cubed and x, where x is greater than or equal to 0. So that's going to give us the region in the top right quadrant. Here's the graph of y equals x, y equals x cubed. You can find the limits of integration, the points of intersection, by setting them equal to each other. Um, so that's what I did over here off to the side. Um, and this was explained in part one. And now, again, we just want to integrate, um, we want to rotate this region about the line y equals five. So just like in the last couple, our limits of integration will be from zero to one. And again, now we have to take pi times the outer radius squared minus pi times the inner radius squared. And then we integrate that with respect to x. Okay, so now my outer radius will be, this is usually the ones that, that seem most tricky to people, um, maybe, maybe not. So the line y equals 5 is what I'm rotating about. We draw a line, again, perpendicular to that. So I'm going to draw a line perpendicular to that. It just hits my region, and now it's just about to exit the region. So again, this is going to be the outer radius. And that's what I plug in to the first part. This is going to be the outer radius. So again, I'm trying to think what's the length of this arrow. Well, if it went from y equals 5 to the x-axis, it would have a length of 5. But I'm not going all the way there. I'm losing a little bit. Well, this little bit that I'm leaving off, again, comes from the function, which is x cubed. So it says this outer radius is actually going to be 5 minus that, that curve, which is x cubed quantity squared. And then my inner radius, I calculate that the same way. Um, so I draw a line that's perpendicular, okay, and it's just going to hit the region, but now it's going to hit the straight line part, which is the curve y equals x. So again, the entire length would be 5, it would have a length of 5. But now we have to subtract off that height of x. And that will be our inner radius. Sorry for all the colors here. Um, that'll be our inner radius. And we've now got our problem set up. So again, um, to integrate, I would factor out the pi. You would have to take the 5 minus x cubed and FOIL it out. The same thing with the 5 minus x. Collect your like terms. And then it should just be using a bunch of the power rule stuff.